Mm -mm. Good morning. My car is on eight miles before it's empty. I was saying, disregard the bump that's on my face. Okay. And good morning, guys. Good Saturday morning. It is 8.22. I am up with the old folks because I like being up with the old folks and I feel like I'm an old folk. <laughs> um, we really have old people sitting out on their porch this early. I love this neighborhood because it's just so... I don't know. It just connects me to my roots. Although I was born and raised on the south side. But this side of town is like really um, cultural. And it has like, it just, I don't know. I love the feel of it. Anyway, seeing people sitting out on their porch and just congregate early. This, this early in the morning is cool. I am about to go wash my car. Well, I'm going to put some gas in the car first. Then I'm going to wash my car because it's filthy and I have not washed it or messed with it um, for about two weeks. And then I am going to go... Why you got your signal on? Are you going to turn or not? Then I'm going to go um, to the gym. I'm supposed to be having my niece this weekend, so... I know I'm not gonna be able to go to the gym at all. So I'm trying to get it in early. Uh, probably gonna do like two hours. Y'all see that bump? The reason why it's so red like that is because I, um, um, used the little, um, suction thing to suck the bump out. <laughs> The plus i guess i don't know that's too much information but whatever and yes i do wear lipstick to the gym sometimes I, I barely wear makeup or anything but lipstick my favorite lipstick is a dark lipstick it's the brown the brown um i wear it sometimes to the gym when i'm feeling fancy and i'm feeling fancy today face look good skin look good my mind is good. My mental, my health is getting better. My health was never in question, but I feel like I could do better, you know. And I, I am doing better, actually. I know I'm rambling on, whatever. I'll probably cut some of this out because I'm rambling. But let me get this gas and then go wash my car, clean my car in the inside, and then go to the gym. Workout is complete. I'm tired. I did three miles and it took me an hour to do so. Um, got my trusty water. And yeah, life is good. I feel great. I need to take my vitamins because I did not do that. <laughs> I need to take my vitamins. And then it goes to Aldi. My music's still playing. I was trying to tell you guys. <sighs> I was trying to tell you guys that I've completed my workout. It took me. It took me um, one whole hour. One whole hour to do three miles. <clears throat> I did 3.5 miles actually. Um, and I'm tired. Well, I'm not tired. I have a lot of energy. But my body's tired. Um. Now I need to go home, take my vitamins, because I forgot to do that this morning. And and I'm about to go to um, Aldi's first, so I can get some blueberries and some spring water. And I'm going to wait for my niece to come over, and then we're just going to chill for the rest of the day. We'll probably do something tomorrow. Probably go to breakfast or something tomorrow. But I'm going to just chill for right now, or chill for today. <sighs> this vlog is probably going to be all over the place. It is what it is.
also another thing I love working out in the morning time I really do because I have a burst of energy every morning <clears throat> I'm such a morning person and I wish I could work out every morning but my job hinders that and um, this Planet Fitness doesn't open until 7 o'clock I guess after um, COVID this Planet Fitness just doesn't open 24 hours anymore so um, mine the one that I go to opens at 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm already at work by then so but it's okay I'll make do and I'll just work out on the weekends in the morning time I'm about to go into um, Dollar Tree because I need some hand sanitizer for my car. Um, I like to keep one in each door, each of uh, the passenger door and the driver's side door. Um, just to have hand sanitizer because I go into a lot of places, touch doors, blah, blah, blah. So I just like to have hand sanitizer on hand. And I ran out. Y'all look. Um, Apple has luggage. It's $25. It's cool. It'll probably break in like three days. But I thought that was cute. Okay, Father Day. Look who I got with me. Look, TT. Say Brooke. Say Brooke. <laughs> Can you say Brooke? Brooke. Say Brooke. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say TT or Brooke? Like you said earlier. Say Brooke. Brooke. Where is TT? Thank you, driving. Are you driving? Say jump. Good job. Say jump. Good job, TT. You're only nine months and you're talking. Say jump. Jump. Now say Brooke. TT, Auntie Baby, say Brooke. Good job. My girl don't like holding her own bottle. She knows how to hold her bottle, but she doesn't like holding her own bottle. Spoiled rotten, okay? Um. Anyway, it's just TT and her niece for the weekend. Go ahead, hold your bottle. <laughs> Hold your bottle, TT. She's full. Um, yeah, it's just us for the weekend. My sister and brother-in-law just dropped her off. Um, it is about 1.30. Oh, you done? Are you done, girl? And she'll be here till, until tomorrow. Say hi. Can you say hi? She don't know who she's talking to. That's why she looking like that. <laughs> Can you say hi? TT. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Can you say bye bye? TT baby is still sleepy. Them people upstairs woke her up. Let me show you the good stuff. Look at this. 
You okay? Where's TT baby? I'm sleepy too. You guys don't mind the stains on my shirt. It comes from Nola. But we are outside taking a little stroll. I don't have a stroller, but I wanted to get her out of the house when the um, sun died down. It's not hot like it was earlier. So we just enjoying outside. We sat on the porch for a little while, but she got bored. So I decided to take a little walk. We walked like three blocks. Can you say hi to the people? Can you say hi? She's enjoying it. Can you say hi, CT? Oh, you like the little breeze? I had to create a barrier for her not to fall off the bed because my bed is pretty high up in the sky. <laughs> um, she did very well last night. She slept all through the night and just woke up at like 5.45 this morning. And we went to sleep at like, she went to sleep at like 9. I went to sleep at like 11. Ouch, TT. Why are you kicking me? With them long toenails. Ma'am. Her name is Nola Renee, but I call her TT because I'm her TT. <laughs> and it's just, it's Auntie Baby, so I just be like, TT. TT Baby. And so I just shortened it and called her TT. <laughs> TT. Ma'am, hold your bottle. You're getting air. Hi, TT. Good morning. Y'all see, I still got on the same shirt from yesterday. Your girl can't do much with, with this little one. <laughs> Your girl can't do much. So I just went to sleep just like this. Say good morning. Good morning, TT. She's such a happy baby in the morning time. She woke up at like um, 5 o'clock and then she laid on me. It was the cutest thing. Hi, TT. Huh? Say good morning. You say hi. Huh? Hello, everybody. Huh? What? What happened? You guys, I do not wish single parenthood on any soul ever. Tell them why, Nola. I just had to take a wash up in the tub, I mean, in the um, by the sink, because Nola was asleep. She took a five minute nap, and I just knew she was gonna take just a little cat nap, because she usually does. <clears throat> but I felt so dirty, I felt really, really dirty from having my clothes on from yesterday and us walking and all that stuff that um small girl <laughs> what you got going on that um I had to take like something or wash up a little quick shower but I couldn't even do that because the girl wakes up so fast and she was sitting at the edge of my couch now I could have put her on the bed but the bed is too high up so I didn't want to put her on the bed and I didn't want to chance it 
waking her up by moving her. So I just put her on the couch because we were already on the couch. <sighs> so I tried to rush and do everything I needed to do. I cleaned up real, really, really, really fast. It took me like two minutes to clean up the kitchen, put, you know, put all her bottles away and stuff like that. Well, not away, but put them in a bag. So when her parents come pick her up, you know, they'll be ready. Got all the dirty diapers and stuff that was on the floor. Got them up, you know, put her stuff away because her parents would be picking her up soon. But um, then I tried to take a quick little wash up and I checked on her real quick, turned around and she was up. So I was only take, able to take like a one minute wash up. Believe me, when she leave, the shower is about to be amazing. So I'm saying all of that to say that single parenthood, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Sorry, I don't. You definitely need help with that. Now, it could be done, but who wants to do it alone? Not me. That ain't for me. I got to have a husband or a man, somebody to take care of my, help me take care of the baby. Oh, TT. You okay? Um. Oh, TT. Oh, no. Who did it? And she really likes Tupac, by the way. She keep looking at him. <laughs> and I could have taken a shower last night when she was knocked out. But I was exhausted. <laughs> so once she went to sleep, y'all, I went to sleep. I went right to sleep. <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> My girl's busy body now. Say hi. Oh, hi, Titi.